I'm back at the estate sale. I'm the first person here. I'm also 45 minutes early. <laughs> this is the last day. Let's see what is left, what is left to rummage through. I'm most likely going straight up to the attic. Why waste time? That's where the paper is. So join me for the last day of a four day estate sale and let's see what treasures have been left behind and what treasures we can take home. Friday. Yeah. I brought my headlamp, so I came prepared this time. <laughs> oh, good for you. oh wow, looks like a lot of Journal of Julius Rodman. That is cool. That is cool. It's a big one. All right, so listen here. Can you give me a call about the message? Because they have a bunch of people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These are baby bottles. It's a whole baby sanitization kit. These don't sell for me though. That's cool. Oh, German. History of today and yesterday. Geschichte von heute und gestern. Six Henry Holt, ooh, German. We're gonna get that. I like German. Let's make sure that's an electric puff ball in there. Ooh, what's that? Oh, too bad. Oh, 
Passover. Interesting. We'll get those too. Denison tissue paper. We're gonna buy that just because it says Denison. Oh! Oh, I should have. Oh, I have my headlamp in my thing. I gotta get that out. I love this. Tell me tea. That's fun. You can sell. I'll grab that one. Pineapple designs. Socks for men and women. Ooh. Fisher's infants. Shrink tops. Oh gosh, remember those. This drawer says decal. Oh, we gotta look in here. Yeah, they're hidden. Do dance. All right, <laughs> Thanks. Hope you found some good stuff. See you on the next trip. Yes. <laughs> just to have like hanging over your um, uh, stove. Mm, that might be Halloween or spunk. What do you think, a cat? Yes, I was right. Come on, kitty. Oh, a cat and a pumpkin. That's cute. By Carrington. We'll put him in my bag. Well, I only spent two hours at this estate sale today, but I still came back with a lot of stuff, had even more fun digging. So, <sighs> lots to go through. 
think I bought some cool things. <laughs> we'll have to see. What treasures did I find? A decent amount. I was there for only two hours this time. This was the last day of a four-day sale. Prices were pretty similar to when I was there um, two days prior, but, you know, I did fill up both bags that I had, plus I had some other larger items, so I think I did fairly well. I'll just show you a few of the things that I bought. These, these were in the box that the drawer was marked decals. It had the Budman decals. I didn't even see these until I came home and started going through them, but how cute are they? Especially the um, sugar coffee tea dill minced onion decals. I don't know if they will transfer on, but I thought they were adorable. I will have some of these items available in my Etsy shop, so you can go and check them out and before they sell out. But these were so cute. I also think I found the only Halloween decoration in the entire house. <laughs> and here it is. So this was, I think it was by Garrison. I think the cat on the pumpkin was sitting underneath a pile of magazines on a shelf and I spotted the outline of the top of the cat and I thought that looks very Halloweenish and it was it's in nice shape not ripped or torn so that was a good find for me also found these I love new old stock vintage little tchotchkes uh, these are for sewing these are patches iron-on grubby patch that has a fun um, newspaper theme <clears throat> for salmon. You can see salmon bell star went dead or alive. And then you have the suede X elbow knee and seat iron-on patches. I love the, the look of them. I just noticed that the advertising for the suede X a guy is running into the hall of science and he's carrying his books. So all these, all these guys are just hanging out at the university with their iron on red patches. <laughs> so cute. I love finding things like these. This was a great surprise for me. I was in the basement. I spent more time in the basement this time and just going through stuff. And I spotted the container of the cold pack. Oh, why? I think it said Chinese food. That's why. I'm like, this doesn't make sense. But anyway, cold pack cheese food. And I shook the little container and I heard stuff inside. And when I opened it, lo and behold, Santa was hiding out in there. And that, my friends, might be the only vintage Christmas thing besides that wrapping paper that I found. I may have gotten only Halloween and Christmas items in that home. <laughs> But that was a fun find. Why the heck did I think that said Chinese food? I have no idea. <laughs> then I picked up a stack of the um, crochet knitting books. I love the Knit for Defense. I think that is such a great cover on the front. Perfect for, you know, vintage military World War II I've never seen, never seen one like it. That should go on a shirt. Um, but I, I just really, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. So I picked up a stack, a bunch of those, which again, will be in the Etsy shop at some point. Then my absolute favorite find of the day, something so small, something so simple, but I love it. I have a few of the Tetley T tins that have the hinged, cover that are blue the dark blue with the elephant on the top and I love them and when I saw this it was like magic this is just one of the rubber jar openers you know it must have been some kind of promo and for them I wanted to see just for fun and what it's worth and I couldn't find one on eBay it was kind of hard to put in like vintage Tetley tea jar opener, vintage rubber grip. I don't know if I used rubber grip, but anyway, I won't be selling this. This will stay with me because I absolutely, I just love it. I, I love that Tetley tea elephant. I loved their, you know, their advertising. And this was just such an interesting find for me. So this will stay in my personal collection.
And with that, I hope you enjoyed this trip back to the estate sale. I'm hoping for more sales like this. I really enjoy digging. I love seeing what you can find, even if it is, it is something as simple as a vintage jar gripper. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you are out and about at your estate sales, I hope you find the treasure that you are looking for. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. I will, I will see you all next time.